Hi everyone, and welcome to Historic Touch. Today, we're going to be talking about the life of Razia Sultana, the first and only female sultan of the Delhi Sultanate. We will also discuss the truth behind the love story of Razia Sultan and her black slave. Razia was born in 1205 to the Delhi Sultan Shamsuddin Iltutmish and his chief wife, Turkan Khatun. She was a bright and intelligent child, and her father was impressed by her skills and her knowledge of politics and administration. When Iltutmish was away on a campaign, he appointed Razia as his regent in Delhi. After Iltutmish's death in 1236, Razia's half-brother, Rukanuddin Firuz, was initially appointed as the new sultan. However, he was a weak and indecisive ruler, and he was soon overthrown by Razia. Razia then became the first female sultan of the Delhi Sultanate. From the very beginning of her reign, Razia faced stiff opposition from nobles of Turkic origin. She had ascended the throne with the support of the general public of Delhi rather than that of the powerful Turkic origin provincial governors. Razia attempted to offset the power of the Turkic nobility by creating a class of non-Turkic nobles, which led to further opposition from the Turkic nobles. By 1237 to 1238, she had started issuing coins solely in her own name. She started appearing in public dressed in traditional male attire, wearing a cloak and a hat. There were also rumors of love relationship of Razia Sultana and her black slave. But there is no historical evidence to support it. The only reliable source of information about Razia Sultana's slave is the Tariq i Firuz Shahi, written by Ziauddin Barana in the 14th century. Barana does not mention the slave's name, but he does say that he was an Abyssinian, East African, slave who was given to Razia Sultana by her father, Shamsuddin Iltutmish. He was appointed to the position of head of the royal stables. He was also given the title of Jamal Uddin Yakut. However, Barana does not say anything about the relationship between Razia Sultana and her slave. He does not say whether they were lovers or just friends. The story that Razia Sultana and her black slave were lovers is likely a myth that has been created or exaggerated over time. There is no reliable evidence to support this claim. It is possible that the story originated from a misunderstanding of Razia Sultana's close relationship with her slave. In 1238 to 1239, Malik Izuddin Kabir Khan Ayaz, the governor of Lahore, rebelled against Razia, and she marched against him. Izuddin was forced to surrender and accept Razia's authority once again. Razia had recalled Iktiaruddin Itijan, the governor of Multan, to her court in Delhi, and made him Amir i Hajib. She had also bestowed favors upon another slave of Iltutmish, Iktiaruddin Altunia, by assigning him first the Ikta of Baran, and then the Ikta of Taberhinda. However, these two officers conspired with other Turkic officers to overthrow her, while she was away on the Lahore campaign. Razia arrived in Delhi on the 3rd of April 1240, and learned that Altunia had rebelled against her in Taberhinda. Unaware that other nobles in Delhi had joined Altunia in conspiring against her, Razia marched towards Taberhinda. Ten days later at Taberhinda, the rebel forces killed her loyalist Yakut and imprisoned her. When the news of Razia's arrest reached Delhi, the rebel nobles there appointed Muizuddin Baram, a son of Iltutmish, on the throne. The new king had assassinated Iktiaruddin Itijan. After Itijan's death, Altunia lost all hope of realizing any benefits from Razia's overthrow, and decided to ally with her. Razia also saw this as an opportunity to win back the throne, and married Altunia in September 1240. Altunia assembled an army, which included Kokers, Jats, and Rajputs. In September to October 1240, Sultan Muizuddin Baram led an army against the forces of Altunia and Razia, and defeated them on the 14th of October 1240. Altunia and Razia were forced to retreat to Kaithal, where they were deserted by their soldiers, and were killed by a group of Hindus. The grave of Razia is located at Mohala Bulbuli Khana near Turkmen Gate in Old Delhi. The 14th century traveler Ibn Battuta mentions that Razia's tomb had become a pilgrimage center. A dome had been built over it, and people sought blessings from it. Another grave, said to be of her sister Shazia, is located beside her grave. Today, the site is largely neglected. The Archaeological Survey of India performs annual maintenance to it, but has been unable to beautify it further because it is surrounded by illegal construction, and is approachable only through a narrow, congested lane. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit like and subscribe for more interesting videos.